Hello everybody. Welcome back to Art and Outdoor Life with John. So today I'm going to paint uh, a scene. I'm taking you back to 1988 in the summer on the Big River in Cedar Hill, Missouri. Um, this is from imagination. Uh, I had a great summer there right before I moved back to Chicago. Okay, um, I first I kind of sketched out a little bit of the landscape. I used uh, cobalt blue for my sky and as you see, um, getting my clouds in by dabbing it. And uh, so I edited this again because my paints were all over the place. So please bear with me. And also, um, the very end of this video, I know a lot of people don't like watching full videos. Um, at the very end, you'll find uh, the complete uh, painting. This is all watercolor. Here I'm using burnt umber, only burnt umber. Okay. So, um, I had some really good moments on this river. Um, it's a real river. And... Uh, me and my friends from high school, uh, well, I had two friends that actually lived there. And on the, there was a farmhouse there where one of my best friends, his grandmother and his grandfather lived there and had been living there for years, many years, an old farmhouse with the wooden stove to heat the house and also to cook on. And we used to practice in that old farmhouse and it was right on the river, just like I put it in here. A few things I added into here that were not there is the barn in the back. But for the most part, everything is Right, except for there was a whole lot of trees up front, and I didn't want to cover the, the barn house. Okay, so I'm making the driveway going in toward the river, almost like a boat ramp. Except for there was no boat ramp. Um, so here I am kind of outlining the farmhouse. It's a very small farmhouse, and it was there for I don't know how long. It was in the family for years. Um, the property here was a field that went back, I don't know how many acres toward the background. It just kept going, kept going until the highway. And we used to, every time I stood the night over there, we would have to walk all the way to the the highway to catch the bus okay so I have the farmhouse outlined and I'm using uh, dirty water like uh, raw or a burnt umber but I'm you know with some water to kind of uh, thin out the paint here and so I'm putting in some bushes because they had bushes there at the house and along, uh, there was foliage along the river shore there. So I'm just getting, right now, basically what I'm doing is I'm setting the scene here. Eventually, toward the end of this painting, you're going to see uh, uh, me and one of my friends fishing here. So... Now I want to, this is the horizon line, okay, up there. Because it went so far back, acres, I don't know how many acres. And there was a, an old dirt road 
which is kind of where the driveway is, but it would go all the way back to the highway. So what I'm doing is just kind of a loose, very loose, uh, putting in some greens, you know, because I want that land cover. Because it was, it was flat, and it was all grass and weeds and and they never used it for a, a farming field. It was just wide open, you know. And um, sometimes I guess they would go, you know, like hunting for ducks or I don't know quail. I'm not sure, but so. At the top there is my horizon line. And here I'm just putting in some shades of green to kind of give it, uh, the shades kind of give it, you know, like if there were uh, small hills and, you know, but if, if there were, there were very small hills, it was really flat. And so, here we go, we're creating this, uh, I'm creating this here, uh, horizon line for the back. Because it just went far back. And this is where I started practicing my music almost every night I was here. Not every night, but many nights. And I would stay up to like 5, 6 in the morning just practicing and writing music. And it was also during this time when I started performing live in St. Louis and surrounding areas. So, and I had just moved there from Chicago. And um, so I'm just getting some colors in here. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking and every time uh, you see it edit uh, the, the clips it's because I'm grabbing paint brushes and I'm trying to figure out colors that might work um, so here what I picked up was uh, some burnt sienna to try to give it some shapes of the windows the house was facing toward the right. It wasn't the house, the old farmhouse was not facing the river. Okay. So, but there were windows there that faced the, the river. But the house was facing toward the right. And uh, to the very right, there was a mobile home there where a friend of mine, his name was Danny, used to live. And my old friend, Tad, lived in this house with his grandmother and grandfather. And uh, so uh, here I've already put on a barn in the back, upper left. They didn't have a barn, but I thought it would, you know, I would add it because I wanted, I just wanted to. And here's a little John boat just on the shore there um, uh, it was awesome I mean we had wonderful nights here in fact I used to catch believe it or not we could hardly catch any st. Louis radio stations but we always caught WLS on the AM dial so what I did here with the river is I put in some Payne's Gray and I, that I mixed and then I'm just kind of going over it gently with some green because the water was green it, it, this part of the river was fairly shat, or fair, it wasn't very wide and, and it was very green this is summertime okay so just a little wash over the Paint gray with a light green. So now here I want to um, just add more with the burnt umber to the trees. 
and like I said, they had a lot of trees. Almost that whole river bank was full of trees and shrubs and stuff. But I wanted to make it a little bit more simple for the viewer. And, you know, I was thinking, I, I only thought about this a few hours ago before I painted it. I was just sitting there and I, there's a million things I want to paint. And this one's personal to me. It is loose, but um, there are some tedious parts of this painting for me. You know, again, I do this as a hobby. Um, something I enjoy doing a lot. So just kind of getting a little bit more definition on the trees, more, you know, and, um, I painted the, the John Boat red, even though it was uh, a very uh, olive green. <clears throat> so in the background, I'm using the burnt umber very lightly. And those were bluffs. Those were bluffs on the back of the highway, way in the back. And those were very, very tall bluffs, probably about 30 stories tall. Um, and the highway went right past. So here I am, I'm just kind of giving uh, the driveway a little bit more color. I want it to go into the river, like kind of fade into the river, almost like uh, a boat ramp. Okay, so, and being very careful with this, I don't want it to be too dark. So I wetted it, and as you can see, the change in the color as the brown hits the very light green, um, just kind of uh, give giving the impression that it, it does go into almost like a boat ramp, it goes right in into the water. Okay, so now I've got a little bit more green here. And here's the hake brush, medium hake. I'm thinning out, spreading out the bristles because I'm gonna put a little bit of leaves on these trees. And that's a lot of green I'm throwing on here. So I don't wanna overdo it, right? So, it, and it is summertime, it's not fall. So I'm just kinda dabbing along here. <clears throat> Excuse me. My nerves are getting real bad. Okay, so that's about as much uh, leaves as I think I want to put on here, I'm thinking. And this is gumbage. So I took the fan brush and put some weeds coming up from the edge of the shore because uh, you know there was all kinds of uh, like I said all kinds of shrubbage and weeds and everything but just as a nice effect here just kind of throwing it along the shoreline these fan brushes are amazing Yes, and uh, so I'm bringing it up. Now, I took a little bit of black because I wanted to give this barn, uh, you know, some boards, you know, some older boards or whatever. So I'm just flickering up, you know, on a liner brush here, a rigger brush, just just kind of giving it some ideas. Now here, they used to have a big tire swing. And I never did it, but um, they would just get on that swing. It's a big old tire hanging from the tree. And they would get on it and 
swing on it and, and jump right into the river there. This is the big river in Cedar Hill, Missouri. So after brightening up the boat a little bit with some red, some crimson, now I'm putting some ultramarine blue over. And you'll see why here in a minute, in case you don't know. And kind of uh, getting my color shapes, my colors, uh, the cool and, and the warms, you know. Kind of, you know, this is from imagination, and like I said, this is a hobby. So, as I'm painting this, I'm just kind of. And please like and subscribe if you appreciate my videos. Thank you. So, now with the napkin, and this is what I like about these trying to bring it bring that driveway back in that boat ramp into the water a little bit black and I was just playing with it here so a little touch up a little black inside of that John boat and maybe uh, you know this is only the third boat boat I have painted or second. I'm not sure. I think it's the second no. or third. Anyways, uh, it's it's, a, it's the idea. It's a John boat. It's not any other kind of boat. Um, okay. So here I'm just putting little red dots into the green because she had a rose garden right up against the old farmhouse. She had beautiful roses all around her. And yeah, it doesn't look like roses, but you know, I didn't want to leave it out. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Now let's draw and our figures. I'm gonna do our figures. So now what I'm doing is putting the touches on. Okay, so now here are the figures, okay? Using black, and this is me and uh, my buddy, we're going fishing. Okay, so black for the pants, our, you know, our jeans, and this is the tedious part here. It's yellow. So, I'm trying to figure out what color I want to put. Um, so, here I'm putting a gambage as a shirt. Okay. And on this one, I'm putting some crimson red. And I don't know if you could see it, but this figure is actually bending over. On the right hand side, he's actually bending over. Look at, as it, he's looking out to the river. Okay, so I got the little dot for the heads. Okay, now this is where I bring out, <laughs> and I did it, I actually did it, okay. First of all, I'm stretching out his arm because he's pointing in the river. He's pointing because uh, my that's that'd probably be me, because my friend just got a bite on the line, and so I'm in the red. I'm with the red shirt, and my friend just got a bite. Well, we're hanging out on this river, on the big river. So, a little bit more black, just to kind of uh, you know, give you give the yeah, you know head shapes, head colors, whatever, and bring bring down the line more into the river, deeper. And now I brought out 
I did it. I brought out some white gouache. Just just for a few little parts. A little touch up. That's all. Uh, I did run out of white watercolor. Okay. But I I only I'm only using this just just to give ideas, okay, like at the end of the fishing line, there's movement. Um, just to kind of give the river a little bit of uh, maybe reflection from the sky. And a little river foam on, on the shore. And maybe against that little John boat there. And the John boat looks bigger because it's up front. Okay, so I'm just kind of smearing up the gouache a little bit, and that, and don't forget we had uh, white Nikes back then, we had our uh, Air Jordan high tops, so I went ahead and gave us those white uh, Nike Air Jordan high tops for our feet. So now I'm putting lemon yellow because, again, this is, the river was green, right? So this is the third layer I'm going over the river with. And thank you for viewing. I really appreciate it. I really do, and it helps. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and please come back again. Please come back again. Again, this is a hobby, but I'm getting better at it. Wishing you a wonderful day and a good evening. Peace and love, John. And that's the final product. There it is.